Howdy folks, TJ here. Well, kinda. <laughs> Behind this big box that I have. No, it's not a retro computer. No, it's not a video game. Uh, maybe, I don't know, does it say on this side what the heck it was? Well, it says Cook Lover. <laughs> the, the Lovers. <laughs> you ever watch Saturday Night Live, The Lovers? <laughs> well, I've been wanting to get a new cook set for our camping expeditions for a while. We have some decent cookware, but it's getting old, and the frying pan was rather small, and now that we're starting to build out a van, well, it'll take years, but creating a Pro Master into a camper, uh, eventually we'll have maybe a little bit more space to put something like a bigger cookware set in there, rather than using a backpacking family set that was good and it condensed down small, but there's also some limitations like a good fry pan. So I decided to pull the trigger and this one just kind of, I was searching Amazon for collapsible or nestable uh, folding handle fry pan. And eventually I came across a whole system or a whole set that's really probably designed for homes but they also use the word RV in there and um, campers I think so with the whole van life scene maybe some of you may appreciate this a nice cook set that hopefully still compresses down fairly small no not as small as a little backpacking set but you've got a van right and you've got a nice cook stove so you want to cook some good food and you want to have good quality stuff to cook it on so, what did I buy? I bought a complete setup from this cook lover. <laughs> uh, and it's really, it says since 1999. I have no clue who cook lover is. All I know is this is a big box. It's black. It's heavy. And uh, we're going to open it up for you now. So let's drop this down. Now, today's been a day. I'm going to tell you, normally I'm pretty jolly. Uh, today's been one of those days that every single thing that I've tried to do, there's been obstructions in the way. Nothing worked. Example, EcoFlow, nice backup battery, generator system. Appears they updated the app and Google forces those updates. I must have it set on auto update because it updated the app. Well, that app no longer talks to my battery device and I'm in a catch-22. This bug won't allow my phone app to see my wireless network to download an update. I'm in a catch-22, so just as simple as wanting to load the app and access my battery I couldn't do because of an update. Now I've got to update the firmware. I can't update the firmware because the phone won't allow me to see my wireless network. Stupid! They should always, always, always have an alternative to updating firmware. It should not be by some third-party device like a phone, whether it's a USB dongle that you can download the file elsewhere and put it someplace so it uploads the firmware. That would be smart. Maybe there's a way. Maybe their tech level tier two will tell me, but right now I'm in that catch-22 and I'm a little pissed off. <laughs> so I need to go to a jolly place, which is cooking. I like eating and I like food. So we're gonna do a box opening. And today's been frustrating for many other reasons, just not that, but it's been a frustrating day. So, this box is pretty heavy duty. It's a hefty box, and inside is a another box. Let me see if I can, oh, did you see my ball spot on my head? <laughs> so there's another box in here. So let's turn this one over. Oh, 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 that was a lot of air and vacuum and suction on that. So inside is a empty box. My cats will enjoy this later. Now the cat's been pretty good, but we have a new puppy and the puppy is just, I'll leave it at that because she's been a pretty frustrating puppy today. I want to love her, but it's one of those kids right now that I love you, but I don't like you because she, I have a feeling she's got HDDH, whatever it is, HDA. She's harping on stuff and I just can't settle her down and I've taken her to training and all sorts of stuff. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna go there. I'm trying to be jolly. We're gonna open the next box and maybe you'll see. So the picture's kind of showing you that, oh, I've got a cook set and everything's in this wild looking, can you see that? Wild looking pot cooking totem. 
13 piece cookware set with cooking utensils, cooking totem. Cool. The rest of the box kind of shows uh, about the same. Well, this box shows a little bit more. This side. Looks like it's showing some of the utensils. Hopefully, this is picking it up. Let's open this up. <clears throat> I'm going to have saliva all over myself. I got a couple mustache hairs, too, that tickling me. Too. I think it's probably not a good idea to make a video when you're amped up. Maybe that's why my dog's amped up, because I'm always amped up. I should be a really skinny man. I'm, I, I, I always get, I've always got stuff going on. and uh, Okay. Are you done with these scissors yet? So you can't see what I'm doing, but you can see my balding head. Oh, the top of the box looks nice. So let's, I want you to get the experience. So inside's a nice glossy cook box. So I'm gonna tilt it over, do another one of those suction things. Oh, oh nice. So cook lava. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay. So, let's turn this box around. So, oh, this looks like an egg. Can you see that from here? Maybe the glossy and the light's gonna be all making things look funky. But that looks like, gosh, it looks like a little alien. An egg in a, a nest. So, and you can't really read that. There is some writing on the side of the box. Oh, the side of this, die cast aluminum induction non-stick stackable cookware set new series meaning mean of meaningful stackability 13 piece it's got a whole gibberish on the side i'm not going to read all that stuff this side shows a little bit more picture there though premium cookware cook lava so can you see that from here probably not it's a little hard to for me to see it close up but you can kind of see it's got some wooden handles going on everything's nested oh this side of the box got lots of good stuff maximum space or maximize space look at that oh yeah we've got some good stuff going on <coughs> had to cough okay so so is this box going to be a difficult one to open up you can't see, okay, no, no, it's e it's going easy. Nice as, smooth as butter. The first thing that went smooth as butter today. Even my butter wouldn't spread this morning. Trying to put it on the toast. The toast wasn't getting hot enough. Certain breads just don't maintain heat too well. <laughs> today, is today Wednesday, bitch Wednesday? No, it's not. I shouldn't be bitching. Oh, so I'm opening this box. The box you kind of saw, oh, so right off the bat. Oh, look at some of the cool stuff that I've got. It's got some mittens. It look like cook and it says cook lover on there. I, maybe tonight I'll just have this on only, just a couple pairs of gloves, and say, "Honey, you want to come in the room and cook?" <laughs> oh God! I'll stab your eyes out now, folks. Stab them out. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, so we're gonna pull out the little gloves here. I've only and watch the camera's gonna end up stuttering because it's too hot in this room. Let me go turn on the air conditioner. Maybe that will help. Un momento. Maybe I'll have to pause this video because I think I've already got, I can't get out of the room. I'm just gonna keep going in the heat. <laughs> I tell you, today's just a, a gibberish day. So the gloves, so look at that. They're like those teflon -y gloves, rubberized, so you can just grab stuff that's hot. So that's cool. And then there's like a trivet thing, rubberized trivet thing. Oh, I was trying to say I only had had 91% uh, uh, or only 9% left of the uh, space on the camera. Watch it end and, and cut off this video. I want you to see everything. It's got a pair of tongs. Cool. Could always use tongs. Uh, oh, so two handles. And let me show you one. What's cool about this. So when I was telling you earlier about the whole... Uh, I wanted to get a foldable you know, frying pan that had a handle that was detachable. Well, this system doesn't have a handle on it. It doesn't have a big old notch that you have to connect to. This thing clamps down on the lip of it so you can pick it up and put it down, which is cool. So you don't have something funky that you have to kind of push it into. You just go any place and lock it down, which is really cool. So this little mechanism allows you to clip and clamp and grab and two of them so cool glad to have two a lot of times when you're going cooking and have backpacking cookware you've got like one little handle that you have to swap between everything so two handles uh 
This looks like just some cord cardboard that they folded to maybe protect these during shipping. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Okay. Ooh. Corrugated. Uh, no. Styrofoam. Oh, the eggs in here. Oh, there's all sorts of stuff. Okay. Pull out the... Oh. Oh. I'm working up a sweat. It's getting hot in here, folks. Probably because of that whole TJ just wearing those mitts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, so in the bottom of this box, there's just a whole bunch of little styrofoam that's all falling apart. So it's going to make a mess. So let me put this box. I don't have any more room. Oh, I'm, I'm closing myself off. So this is the size. So you can look at my head. And this is the size of this. So it's not really small, small. It's going to take up some space, folks. But it's, it's going to take up this amount of space. So I think I can find a nook and cranny in my future van that will allow this to find a home. And I could always remove the top of it and store some of the other things elsewhere. But needless to say, there's some straps on here holding everything together. Probably for shipping, for transit. And so we're going to take this apart. I think I'll stop the video right here. We'll take it apart and I'll show you the separates. But, yeah, it's got some heft to it, but it is still fairly light at the same time. And again, here's the size of my head, and here's the size of the, the setup. This is the amount of space that you need to find in your van, camper, Volkswagen, whatever, to find a home for it. I'll find some home. So, let's stop the video there. I'll figure this little thing out a little bit more, make sure I got room on the camera, and then we'll show some of these components, and then we'll call a wrap on the video. Then I'll go get a little bit of a drink, because I need one right about now. Ooh. All right, I'm back. I turned on the air conditioner. It was 82 in here. It's getting hot. Probably, actually, in this room, probably more like 83 or 84. But out there, it's at 82. So, on the top of this is some straps. Um, I should have paid attention to how these straps... It looks like there's Velcro. Let me turn it over. Yeah, Velcro holding everything down. I don't know if I'm going to need to use this, but you can kind of see there's some Velcro making a little bit of a nest around all this stuff. And I think if you just unpeel those two pieces, I don't want everything to fall off and break here. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe they do this for shipping purposes. Might be good for me to keep that, though. So... Everything is actually still... Oh, what's this? Oh, so this is like a pan. So this this is outside of the... Rel so they've got this down here. It doesn't look like this particular one. That's how they're locking it in, is that Velcro. So it doesn't nest exactly in that bottom piece. <laughs> Everything else, though, is nesting. There's some little clips, it looks like, or something that's holding this all together. Uh... Plastic? Uh, I'm not quite sure what's holding it on there. Let's first start with this piece, though, since it is separate. Let's put this part down. Oh! So it's got a little, uh, I guess a little protective thing, again, around it for for shipping purposes. That is one big-ass... It looks like panties. <laughs> oh, no! TJ, what's going on here? Uh, it's got your little, your little hat you can use it for. It's a big ass garter. You know, did, do you go boys uh, get garters from your girls anymore? Back when I was in high school in the the 80s, basically you got a garter from your girl. Do they do that anymore? I have no clue. Uh, these day and age, these kids are probably much more promiscuous than I was at that age. So, but like I said, it is induction capable, and this says PTE marble coating, non-stick durable. It's going to be nice to have a non-stick service. Everything that I own pretty much is stickier than sticky. And even though it used to be uh, s stickless. Is that the word? Stickless? <laughs> it's got some pretty good thickness to it. So it's nice, sturdy. This has got to be the fry pan. I'm a little bummed that it's on the outside and not nested like they said. Technically, it is nesting, but it's not. It's not held in place. So that's the fry pan. It's a good... You can see again the size of my head. <laughs> so you can put a nice piece of fish in here, steak, or if you're vegan or vegetarian or whatever, some Brussels sprouts, whatever you want in there. So that's the fry pan. Now, how do you get this conglomeration? I feel like Mork from Ork. This thing's like an egg. 
Mork for Mork. You probably, the kids don't even know what the hell Mork is. So how do you open this thing up? Do you just lift out? Hey, look at that. See if I would have tipped over everything. Would have. So this in itself is a little dome of love. It's got all sorts of stuff in here and I don't have much room to put stuff. Will this fit there? Oh, I don't want it to fall. Okay, that should be all right. Okay, so inside here is the big pan. So this is one Herkin pan. There's some little plastic pieces here they put on there, probably to keep everything from jiggling. You'll see that they're all over the place. I guess I'll want to save those. Uh, and inside here is some documentation. Cook Lava. Cook Lava. So it came with some nice little brochures. Inside was a cookware little box. I don't know what's in here, but uh, needless to say, it's come nicely packaged. And there's that egg again. Where do I put this? I'll put this down on the floor. So the big pan, you can see the big pan's herkin. This could cook up some spaghetti, all sorts of stuff. Again, these little plastic things. I guess they're doing it for shipping purposes, but I don't know if I'll save all that stuff for later. We don't want it clanging around when we're driving. But this is one big pot, and it's got, this is kind of a faux wood, but it feels good, feels grippy, and I can see myself having some place to empty out whatever you're trying to empty out. Big old panella of peeny winkles or periwinkles, whatever you call them. Uh, that's a New England thing. So, okay, I got those things down. We'll look at that little box later. So we looked at the fry pan. So how does this part open up? Is it just, oh, it's it just, it's just getting a little bit of rubber here. So the rubber was kind of trapping this down a little bit. So this was a skillet probably, or a little fry pan. But this is also a bigger one and it's got a little ringy dingy dingy thingy on it. And it's got the back for the induction, but this is one Herkin one. So, and it's got this cool, oh, can you kind of get a psychedelic effect here? It's got these rings going around. So probably meats and things like that, that you don't want the stick. Uh, and you maybe want some nice little lines on your steak or something. Or if you're a vegan again, on your uh, eggplant. Yeah, I had to think of that one. So this is what I really, I wanted a nice big pan. And later on, I'll maybe have a video there and I'll kind of show how that little latch thing works. Inside here, so here's the big wok. This thing's a wok. So on the top of this, damn, am I hyper today. It's got a nice handle, so you can grip it. It's got nice silicon ring around it. I can smell the, the silicon here. And then here's the big wok. So I've got a big wok for stir fry and all of that. So again, there's a lot of componentry here. Now hopefully I can put this all back together again because I wanted it to be all nesting. Uh, so I've shown the, oh, let's uh, show what's in this little thing. Maybe the utensils. So I, don't, I didn't count if this is all 13 pieces, but needless to say, it looked pretty complete. Oh, this is the little, the little cook, little uh, pots. So inside this box was this, and this is all factory packed still. And it's a little version of that. I guess I need to open this up if I can open it. Man, this thing's like air sealed. Where did I put my scissors? See, one of those days again, I just, oh, there's a pair of scissors. Nothing's right at hand. You know, you ever have those days that it just magically, you go like this and your tool of choice lands right in your hand. Today's not that day for me. Oh, this is giving me all sorts of, my hair is standing up on this sucker. So, for cheese, cheese fondue, look at that, awesome. So I just gotta remember to flip over the lid so this all fits in there. Now, let's see if I can get the handle to work and then we'll call this video a wrap. So let's pick the smaller pot here. I haven't read any destructions, but I kind of saw, oh, this one's also got a little lip for pouring stuff out. That's kind of cool. So let's see. So there, there is a button here. Oh, so let it, oh, oh. oh, yeah, push the button. Push the button and that little thing opened up. Watch this, watch. Oh, you push, push like that and then go, oh yeah. Okay, and then you push this down and then you, 
clamp it and lock it. Oh, it's grippy. It's grippy. Uh, yeah. So your your cheese and stuff not going to fall off. This handle is pretty premium. I mean, this thing's locked on there. Awesome. This is really a cool set. A, bit, a little bit bigger than I was thinking it would be. But at this point, again, it's kind of going to be a great cook set for cooking on a camping trip. So how do you unlock this thing? Probably... Yeah, see, I'm pretty bright. Okay, that is the video. I've showed all the componentry pretty much. This handle mechanism, the rubber grippies, grabbing onto whatever pot you want and locking it down. Really nifty idea, very cool. And if we find this ends up being too big for camping, it was time for a good cook set at home. Maybe we'll use this here. But for now, we're gonna try it camping. Thanks for watching the video. The thing I like the most is this big old wok. I wanted a wok for camping and my dog needs to go for a wok tonight because she's driving me nuts. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Peace, folks. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.